everyone, my name is Danielle and welcome to another episode of Board Game Bakes. This is a fun show where I make board game pieces and components into edible creations. This one is a snack edition. Previously, I made monster on meatballs, and I got this cute little cookie cutter from Meeple Source. And I'm gonna use it to make meeple pretzels that are stuffed with brie and raspberry jam. I really like this layer combination. If you're not a cheese and fruit person, you could just put whatever cheese you want on the inside. Ooh, Nutella tastes good. Whatever you want on the inside, and it's with a pretzel and salt, so I'm pretty sure it would just be delicious. So, I'm gonna show you how to make it and Comment below when you're done to let me know what's your flavor of choice. Here's how you make it. Here are the ingredients you'll need to make the pretzels. I'll list them down below. Put one and a quarter cup of warm water, two and a quarter teaspoons yeast, and one tablespoon sugar in the bowl of an electric mixer to bloom. You can give it a light mix to combine it together. While your yeast is getting happy, cut your brie into square pieces and place them back in the fridge so they're easier to work with. Don't worry, <laughs> you don't actually need the whole round of brie. You can just eat the excess. Now the yeast is bubbly. Add four cups flour, three tablespoons melted butter, and one and a half teaspoons of salt to the mixer. Turn your mixer on low. Once a dough forms, increase the speed to medium and let the machine knead the dough for five minutes. Grease your container of choice for where you want it to proof. I have this cool little pizza container I like. After five minutes of kneading in the mixer, Form the dough into a ball and place into the container. If your container does not have a lid, lightly grease plastic wrap and place it over the container. Let it sit for one hour in a warm place to proof. You're looking for it to about double in size. Now it's time to roll out that pretzel dough to a quarter inch thickness. Use a meeple cookie cutter or a stencil to cut out meeple shapes. Reroll any of the excess dough to create an army of meeples. I will warn you that once you put the dough back together, it doesn't really want to roll out as much as so they tend to stretch and go back in. So you want to try and get as many that first time as you can. Divide your meatballs into pairs. Partner up. Put a quarter teaspoon of raspberry jam and one piece of brie on the pretzels. Use your finger to put water around the edge of the filled meatball. Next, take your second meatball and place it over the first pretzel. Take a fork to seal the two pretzels together. Make sure to press down hard and you want to do this so you trap all that gooey cheese on the inside. Now it's time to prep your baking soda bath. Woohoo! Add six cups of water and a third cup baking soda into a pot and turn on the heat. Once it comes to a boil, you're ready to go. Take your meeple and give it a bath. Get it nice and clean, or I guess kind of wrinkly in this case. Either plop in the water or keep it on a slide spoon. Pour water over it so it stays mostly covered and you want it in here for 30 seconds. Shake off the excess water and put it on a cutting board briefly before transferring to the cookie sheet. This way you don't get any of that extra water dripping off on your cookie sheet. Mix one egg yolk and a teaspoon of water in a small bowl. And you want to brush that mixture over the pretzels to get them nice and covered. This will give them that beautiful golden brown color. And while they're still white, you want to sprinkle them liberally with pretzel salt. So as much or as much little salt as you want. Bake at 425 degrees for 10 minutes. Some filling may ooze out if they're not sealed enough, but don't worry, they'll still be tasty. Let cool for a few minutes so you don't horribly burn yourself, and then enjoy them while they're nice and warm. Thanks for watching this fun episode of Board Game Bakes. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make your own meeple pretzels. Comment below, what filling would you put inside these pretzels? Keep playing games and keep them sweet. Bye!